Talking about the treatment of vitiligo, it shall not be an exaggeration to say that the treatment of vitiligo starts and ends with sororance. Home remedies, herbal medicine and the modern system of Puva shall all be reduced to a big zero without them. That leads us to the obvious question, what are sorolins? Well, sorolins are a group of naturally occurring substances which sensitize human skin to the tanning effect of sunlight. They can be found in a wide range of plants and may be extracted from common vegetables like celery as well as from wild herbs which are used only for medicinal purposes like Soralia corellifolia. If you are eating sorolins or applying their extracts to the affected skin, color may start coming back over a period of weeks to months. This is a fact that has been known to the oriental man for the last dozens of centuries. That is why majority of home remedies for vitiligo are based on sorolins. Sorolins are very potent herbs and their unsupervised use in the form of home remedies can be associated with unpleasant consequences necessitating cessation of treatment. Home remedies are hence rarely used long enough to be of any real benefit. The beneficial effects of sorolins are best exploited by herbalists who are the people who specialize in their use. They have evolved various recipes for vitiligo from combination of various sorolins and addition of non-sorolin modifying agents to enhance the therapeutic effect as well as to make these remedies more user friendly. Complex and difficult maturing and processing techniques are also employed to achieve the same objective. These recipes have been developed over centuries and some of them can be very effective despite being gentle to the skin. They are very economical in addition and you do not need to visit the herbalist every now and then. That makes herbal products the most popular option for the treatment of vitiligo. The therapeutic benefit of sorolins has now been proven scientifically as well and new treatment systems are being evolved on the basis of such evidence. The most significant example is that of Puva in which oral or local sorolin therapy is combined with ultraviolet radiation. Puva is a fairly effective method of treatment thanks to sorolins but it needs repetitive sessions with specialists which makes it an expensive and a fairly cumbersome option to choose. I was hence justified when I started off with the statement that the treatment of vitiligo starts and ends with sorolins. I shall add however that sorolins are herbs and herbalists are the best people to advise you in their use.